You have to come here right now. <laughs> and uh, so she started walking towards me and she was crying and she was terrified. Poway resident Nicole Rickards is so thankful that she was persistent on trying to find her missing neighbor Cassidy Chan and Chan's dog Lucy. So we just grabbed each other and hugged each other and then I held her and we walked towards her house. My wife found her last night and I couldn't believe what I was seeing and hearing and reading on my text. Dave Rickards is still in disbelief about his wife's good fortune. Her eagle eyes focused on the girl who'd been hiding in a utility area very close to the St. Michael School students' heritage drive home. And I kind of just zeroed in on her and I immediately saw her face. And that's when I was like, Cassidy. And she kind of peeked around this tree and, uh, and I said, do you have Lucy with you? The pair had seen each other on Monday when they were both walking their dogs. Nicole says it was Cassidy's first time with Lucy by herself in the rural neighborhood. Nicole's dog Joey was curious about Cassidy and her pet. I'm like, oh, he's so nosy. You know, sorry, he's invading your privacy. <laughs> Blame it on the dog. Yeah, and she's just like, oh, it's okay, he's so cute. What's his name? And I was, you know, Joey, and what's your dog's name? Lucy, and so we just started chatting. Lovely girl, really nice. But I just had this weird feeling like I needed to have, I needed to talk to her. Once she learned that Cassidy was missing, Nicole says she felt sick. She couldn't even eat. She just knew that she had to do something to help find her new friend. She decided to take Joey Wednesday evening on the same route that she was on when she met Cassidy the day before. So I looked and I'm like, oh, you're being silly. And, I'm, and I was like, where are you, kid? I said it out loud a couple of times, you know, like, where are you? I was walking and I just saw like something out of the uh, corner of my eye. At first, she says she thought it was a burglar, but then realized it was Cassidy and Lucy. She got the girl out, saw a police officer, and told them she had the missing girl. Cassidy was scared, but Nicole was glad the ordeal was over. And I said, are you okay? Do you feel safe? You know, they're here for you and you're okay. Mm -hmm. um, and so she kind of looked at me like, and I'm like, it's okay, you know, you could go.